Hi everyone, it's Naomi. It has been a blinking long time since I've done a vlog. I will talk to you guys later on in this vlog about why I have been gone from my channel and doing very sporadic videos and not really putting out much content at all a bit later on in this vlog. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. So this is the first in my homeware series and I'm basically having an office kind of outbuilding built at the back of our garden. Um, so it's going to be like my office, a filming space, um, little kind of lounge area, photographic studio. I'm so excited. I've been buying stuff already. I'm currently sat on my new couch. And um, so I'm basically in today's vlog going to show you the bits that I bought so far. Um, I also need to go out and maybe have a look at a few other bits and bring you guys along with me. Um, I might go and grab some lunch as well whilst I'm out. Um, but yeah, I've got a few bits to go through with you guys. Um, also just to say a huge thank you to my dad because he is putting in so much work on this building. My dad is kind of like a builder, painter, decorator and we're doing it as like an eco building. So at the moment it looks like a shed but it won't. Um, but I'm so excited to take you guys from like right at the very beginning where is uh, kind of where I'm at now right to the end to the finished product and it's gonna look so well from the bits that I've picked up so far gonna look good it's gonna look so good um i have designed everything on photoshop as well i really wish i could show you guys the finished result of my office slash living area it's going to look so amazing and totally different to this and so much bigger this is actually just in my room there's my bed i'm having to kind of cramp everything in here at the moment because um my office is open to the elements as you'll see later so i can't really put anything out there yet Okay, starting off, I'm going to show you guys my Decenio prints. I swear everyone has prints from Decenio. I have never shopped with them before, so I am really, really, really impressed. I am so obsessed with the prints that I've found. I actually have a code um, for you guys to get discount off, 25%, but from the date that this vlog goes up, it's only valid until midnight tomorrow night. Um, so be quick if you want to get 25% off. It's the code Naomi Victoria. And if you guys get any prints, I'd love to see. So message me on Instagram. Um, but these are the ones that I've chosen out. Um, and these are the ones that I've framed. But I also have a few aside as well. So I'll show you those in a second. Okay, so I've got this pink neon S sign. I actually love anything neon. I got my little neon sign, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but I thought that was really retro, really cool. Um, and matches my sofa perfectly. I've got this little beach scene. It can get quite dreary in England, so I like to have like sunny scenes, beach scenes, and just imagine myself being there. Again, another neon sign. This one says coffee because I love my coffee. I also like how that's monochrome, so it kind of breaks up these. Um, I actually designed these with the Decenio online kind of designer and put them all together and saw how they look because I did actually choose out a few other ones but they didn't go with my choices. Um, so I thought that was a really cool little tool as well. I've got this villa. How beautiful is that? I wish I lived there. And finally this ginormous tropics one which actually correlates. If I can get this guy out. The two S's are the same. Can you see? That's like a zoomed in version. So I thought that was a really nice little touch there and just the tones of that picture are so, so nice. And I also picked out two other prints which I currently don't have frames for but they came in this big kind of envelope to keep them protected. And they look like this. You can kind of see the vibe I was going for, kind of um, retro signs, um, blues, pinks, cacti, palm trees, and this one is just absolutely gigantic. Look at how big it is. I've just nailed them up into a little temporary home and they look so good. And my bedroom walls are actually going to be completely changed anyway. So when I take these down, my room will be completely redecorated. Work really well with my new neon sign. I'm 
just so in love with my neon sign. I've wanted one for years and years and I've pinned so many pins on Pinterest of neon signs and I wanted a real one, so not like a kind of plasticky one. I wanted a real glass one and this is real glass. It says, but first coffee, which I love because it's like my life motto and it's by AOOS Neon. I actually found them on eBay, um, but they're not cheap at all, but they have tons of like quotes and and colours and sayings and stuff so it's real glass. Wait, let me just turn it on and show you guys. Isn't it just so beautiful? I don't even care if no one likes it. I love it. I love it so much. So moving round to La Pièce de Résistance. I hope I've said that right. Um, my new sofa and this is actually from Dunelm, would you believe? It is so beautiful. Just the kind of vibe that I was going for. So it's this gorgeous pink faux velvet sofa it's like the sofa of my dreams just move my cushions so it has this kind of um i don't know how you'd describe this back like indented and it curves around it's really comfortable really spongy and it's actually not super like i've seen sofas that look like this uh, maybe not even as nice as this for a lot lot more expensive I thought this was actually quite reasonable so as well as everything else I'll link my sofa down below um, my pillows if you're interested this huge one is actually from Primark and I didn't buy these with the sofa in mind I got these before the sofa but it actually turns out that they work really really well they're kind of like an ombre effect and then this little one came as just a cushion cover from H&M. I picked up this mat from Primark a few weeks ago Um, it came rolled up it was eight pounds and it said it was a rug so I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger it's actually only kind of like the size of a bath mat um, but I really like the vibe of it anyway so I just wish it was a little bit bigger. Also from Dunelm is my brand new lamp. It has a big, humongous black lampshade, which you, I guess you could change if you wanted, but I actually really like how it breaks up all of the pink I've got going on. And then the actual stand is brushed gold, which I really, really love because it just makes it look that little touch more expensive. And actually turn it and have it over the sofa like that, which, Again, I think I might do that when I'm finally in my office. I also got this palm plant from Dunelm, which I would never have thought to go to Dunelm for plants, but they had quite a nice little selection. And this one is huge. I think it's six foot. I come up to here on it, and then you've got the rest and it looks so real. I actually think this base section is real. You can see it's kind of like this. I'm not gonna try and pull it apart, but I think that bit's real, and then it moves up into the faux bit. And also, I'll just demonstrate, you can take these out. So I guess you could put these around the house if you wanted, make it thicker, make it thinner, depending on how you want the plant to look. And then they just slide. If I can do this with my left hand. Ta-da! So I've just stopped off and picked myself up an iced latte. So this is an almond milk iced latte with caramel, which is my absolute favorite. gosh this chair how beautiful is that chair must know how much it is so I've come to another part of the shop and they have the uh, velvet chair with a little price tag on it so it is for sale and it's 395 which I mean it's nice but guys I've just found this table and it's in the sale from 225 down to 98 pounds and it says it's a wine rack but I actually think the kind of wine rack detail just looks nice 
as a kind of design detail anyway and I'm thinking this would be so perfect for my office because it's the perfect height, it's a real marble top, the gold is like brushed gold, it looks so expensive. I don't know whether it should, like can I justify a hundred pounds on the side table although it is reduced from 225. Let me know what you guys think because it would just, this is exactly what I've been looking for so I'm hoping I can buy this online otherwise I'll have to lug it through the streets. She bought it. <laughs> It's very heavy. I mean, at that discount, I couldn't resist. And I'm so, so happy. It's got my cat fur on it, actually. He's just jumped on it as soon as I got in. Um, but it's real marble. It's got, look at how nicely this gold goes with my sofa. Definitely, definitely the right decision. It's the perfect height. So when I'm sat, it can be like that. I am so in love and I love how it's brushed gold as well so it looks really kind of classy, a bit different. It is a wine rack, I don't really drink that much wine so I will probably just, I really like it as a design detail but I can also just put, I guess, Coca-Cola, how classy but keeping it real. So that is my new little Oliver bonus purchase in the sale absolutely love it and here we are here's my little work in progress i wish i could have shown you this on more of a sunny day it was 30 degrees yesterday and it's been raining today so it's pretty dark inside but you can kind of get the feel for what it looks like so at the moment it's in this green wood which is going to be covered and it'll be white on the outside with like palm trees and stuff hopefully and then when i take you inside there's no windows in here so it is a bit dark and I love this um, concrete flooring. I'm hoping to get a proper concrete effect flooring when this is done. And here we are. So it doesn't really show the scale of how big this room actually is. It looks like a shed at the moment, um, but it will look like a proper room in about two weeks. Um, so I will of course share with you my vision in a second, but okay, if I come and stand over here, I'll have to climb over that wood, but I will show you pacing. There we go. That is how big it is. So it's taken me a good few, like 10 steps to get from one side to another. It's huge. And this side, so this is what my vision is. This side is going to be my little living area. So I'm gonna have my couch here, my pink velvet couch from Dunelm here, with a lamp over this side. Concrete effect wallpaper, if I can find any nice kind of light concrete effect. And a wardrobe in the corner, my neon light on the wall. So that will be my feature wall. Spinning round, hopefully a window here maybe and then this side is going to be my office space so I'm having my desk over here with my kind of filing cabinet and everything like that but it can also double up as a filming space if I need to film anything that requires a desk so at the moment we're just waiting for an electrician to come before my dad can start doing anything else like boarding it up and stuff he's going to fit the plug sockets get power to it we have a little power point over here which kind of reminds me of a campsite one that you'd have next to a tent um so it will have power soon and then hopefully in the next two weeks it will be boarded over and look more like a room so i'm so excited i will definitely keep you guys up to date and show you all the furniture and everything that i'm kind of buying and getting to go inside so i'm just about to go and make some dinner and I'm gonna watch Stuba tonight at the cinema. It's got Batista in it, it looks really funny. Um, but I just wanted to kind of address why I haven't been making videos for the past year, because I've had a lot of people message me um, on Instagram, like some being concerned, some being like, have you quit YouTube? And I've kind of said, but I kind of haven't. Um, basically, it's kind of ever since I've finished uni, throughout uni I had a lot of physical health problems so like stomach problems I was in and out of the hospital a lot and I actually had to defer my second year exams because um, it was just really 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 kind of hard and it's hard to 
kind of cope with being constantly worried about yourself and worried that there's something seriously wrong with you and being in pain every day to study and get work done like I admire everyone who has to do that every day because it's not easy um and then come year three I just my mental health was really really bad and trying to juggle doing uni and YouTube and everything it's like mentally so tolling um so I've had to take a personal I'm gonna say like a, a break away for personal reasons and it's taken me a really 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 long time to actually feel like I want to kind of come back and put my face in front of a camera and just feel comfortable to just chat and I know it seems like the easiest thing in the world don't get me wrong I actually just find it difficult sometimes so I've had to take a long break away but I am so ready to come back and I know I've said that before but I'm literally I've said it before with the best intentions of coming back but I've not really been ready and I've not really been in that place I'm in that place I'm having an office built I feel really really good I'm going to the gym focusing on my health and fitness and I just feel so ready to come back I miss you guys so much so I am back for good now you'll be seeing a lot more of this face and yeah I'm gonna end my vlog here I hope you guys have enjoyed it look out for more of my homeware series coming soon and I hope you have a wonderful day bye everyone